Castle's Garage. Just a quick video for you today. Something that anyone can do at home real quick and easy with limited tools. What do you do when your rear windshield wiper is just flopping around? Right? Happens to everyone as the car starts to get old. Those rear wipers just never seem to work like they did when they were new. Why? It's all that dirt and grime and road grime that gets sprayed up on your back window. You use the wiper. Mostly women use the wiper. A lot of guys don't use that back wiper. But either way, that wiper starts to lose its spring tension. Now, yeah, you can pull it off and you could soak it in penetrating oil or WD-40 or something like that. Or you could use carb cleaner or brake cleaner to clean it out really good. And you could bring back some of its function. The problem is it's short-lived. It doesn't last long. Why they can't figure out a rear wiper that stays on your window with good pressure through the seasons and through the years, I don't know. But a 98, 18-year-old vehicle, the rear wiper flopping around for 12 bucks. looking around online, eBay, Amazon, this one was eBay. We have a replacement wiper arm with a nice stiff spring in it. It's real easy to put on with a flat blade screwdriver is all you need. Good time to change that wiper blade itself so that when you do have some real crappy weather, maybe um, when it's snow or salty on the roads and it's spraying up to the back window and you do want to clear it off. And for those of you women who like to turn it on every damn time it rains, you can and it'll work. And it's a real cheap, easy fix. Quick video for you today. Let me move the camera and we'll show you how. Okay, up at the window, all I have is a flat blade screwdriver. You pull the wiper arm out, straight out as far as it'll go. Sometimes you need the screwdriver, sometimes you don't. There's this tab right here below the, the mechanism. When you pull the wiper blade all the way out, it releases a lock that lets you pull this tab down. Once you pull this tab down, you should be able to pull your wiper arm right off. Sometimes you might have to wiggle it up and down a little bit because it's gunked up in here. This one seems to be pretty clean. It came off nice and easy. Now you got your new wiper blade or wiper arm I should say. Same thing, you're gonna bring it out so it's at 90 degrees so that you can put it back on. But before you put it back on, the best thing to do is put your new wiper blade on the arm so that when you set this arm on the window, that wiper blade is in the right position so it's not hanging too far down low in your view all the time and it's not up too high. So you want to line that up because depending on where you lock this in on the splines is going to make a difference on how your wiper sits on your window when you're not using it and what the total sweep of that wiper is going to be. So you want to get it in the right spot. You can put it in the spot where it was. You could lift it up a little bit higher. You'll lose some of that low swing if you want to get it up out of the way. I like it at the top of the window so it's up out of the way because I really don't use it much. So I have my new wiper blade, my new wiper arm. It's just a hook, it sits in, pull it in, it snaps into position. It's not going to come out on you. Right? And then hold it up to the window. Get a good visual of where you want it. I like it right there at the top of the window. Move that 90 degrees. Slide it over. And then put it down and see if it's where you want it. Alright, that's a little high. On this corner over here, it's almost at the very top of the windshield. So all you got to do is move it down, pull that tab back out, pull it out, and let's turn it down a notch or two. Put that tab back in, and put the window down. I don't know if I like that way either. Alright, so let's move it back up, pull it down, and let's see if we can go one tooth or so. Alright. Let's see what that does. Alright. I can deal with it like that. I like the way that looks. Alright, it was that quick. It was that easy. You got some nice tension against the window. It won't be flopping around. And when you need to use it, it's going to wipe that window clean because it's got a, enough pressure against the window to keep that blade against the window. Easy. 12 bucks plus the blade online was another two or three bucks under fifteen dollars something that's been annoying you for a couple of years probably real easy fix your only tool you need is a flat blade screwdriver which 
You know what? We didn't even have to use on this one. Sometimes you needed to pry that, that little clip down. But like you saw on this one, you really didn't need it. Easy stuff. Quick video today from Axel's Garage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.